Tasha, what the heck did you even do? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a full face of Huda Beauty. As you can see, this is the face that I came out with. I literally look like a filter. I look like I face tuned my face. It's cute, it's cute. But if you wanna hear my thoughts and how I feel about everything, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video and keep watching. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title today, we're doing another one brand tutorial. I'm super excited because I absolutely love doing them. So far, no one's failed me, so we're gonna keep these going, okay? So um, today we're doing Huda Beauty and I'm really excited because I didn't even realize I have like, hella Huda Booty products, okay? The only thing that I really had to buy was foundation and um, primer. That was the only things that I had to buy to complete this tutorial. And then I just picked up a few extra things just because I'm extra. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna get into it. I'm like, obviously Tosh, if you have this much stuff, you kind of sort of like the brand, so get the content out okay period so we're gonna get straight into it and see what they talking about so please you guys excuse my hair my hair looks a mess i almost didn't record this because my hair wasn't done i was like tasha just put on a wig you're not even gonna care about how your lace looks because you're gonna fix it at the end so it don't matter it don't matter so just ignore all of this and worry about all of this okay so i actually am not gonna do my brow today because i got my brows laminated and um and tinted so they're pretty much already done all i'm gonna do is probably carve the bottom of them with mascara not with mascara <laughs> with um concealer just so that they like pop a little bit more or not pop they just look more like polished and that's about it i might no not i might i am gonna fill in this little section under my arch so it matches this one because this one i don't know if she took off a little bit too much or i just didn't have brow hairs right there but yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Other than that, I'm not gonna touch my brows because Huda Beauty doesn't even have brow products, right? I ain't see any, so it works out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so those are my brows. Do you see what a little bit of concealer does? And I actually ended up using brow powder just to fill out this little area because it like dips a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. Get you some brow lamination and your life will be 20 times easier. I'm gonna start by prepping my lips. I'm gonna be using the Silk Balm and it's supposed to be plumping. I haven't really seen that effect on myself, but I really do like this. Like it's really nice to me. And I just love the packaging. It's like super luxe. It's literally fancy lip, like fancy chapstick. So if you're into balms, check it out. I literally have been using this every day, so Regardless of who the beauty had this or not, I would have grabbed any other one that I have and used it, but we're staying in theme today. So next I'm gonna be going into the primer. I don't know why I thought that Huda Beauty had multiple primers, but when I went to the when I went to Sephora, they only had one like on display too. So this is actually a hydrating and skin smoothing primer. So it sounds good to me. And it has a pump. I'm gonna do two pumps. Rub it right here. And you guys know who the beauty stuff has that like rosy smell. And it really doesn't bother me, but I know a lot of people don't like it, so you know. And honestly, automatically I saw in this area, it like filtered it out. It like looks a lot smoother I don't know if you can see it on camera but but I like that it's like hydrating and smoothing to the skin but doesn't have that silicone feel it definitely feels like a really nice moisturizer it feels super luxe to me so I love this so far that's how we're looking um, I'm gonna let that just sit on my face and I'm gonna be going into this nude rich palette um i do have a few of her like colorful palettes but i just feel like i wanted to do something neutral <laughs> because i feel like whenever i don't know we've had this conversation before whenever i try to do color with like new stuff it just doesn't work so i'm just stick to what i know so 
So yeah, this palette is so cute. It's like browns and mauves and like just my type of palette. So I am living. So I'm actually going to take, where is the concealer? I'm going to take the concealer and this is in the shade Caramel Corn. This is a lighter shade that I have. And I'm going to put this on my eyelids to act as my eyeshadow primer. Because y'all know, y'all know I always use concealer as my eyeshadow base. So I'm just gonna pat that out. And this concealer is so thick, you guys, oh my gosh. I feel like this is not gonna set the way my other concealers normally do on my eyes. So I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty powder in the shade Blondie. And you can use any shade that you have. And I'm just gonna set that. And now that it's set, perfect eyeshadow base. Like, I can tell this is D1, you guys. This is D1. So these little mini palettes don't have any shades. So I'm feeling like a matte eye today. Y'all know I'm boring, child. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's like this lighter pink mauve shade in the middle. And I'm going to use that as... My transition, wow, that's so pigmented. Huda Beauty palettes never failed me, to be honest with you. I was gonna get the big one. What's the last one she came out with? Like Luna or Zodiac or something like that. But I just like was not in the mood for color. When I saw the news when I was just like, oh, God. Like working with like Hello Pastels low key stresses me out. So I'm just kind of like, yikes. I'm just gonna blend this out. I don't know where this look is going, but let us pray, y'all, let us pray. And I'm just taking another fluffy brush and just blending that out some more. Build that up to your likings, but I already know how Huda Beauty um, eyeshadows perform and they're super pigmented and smooth. The things that I have a hard time with is like, some of their shimmers they're like this like weird foily material i don't think there's any in this palette but in some of them they have like this weird metallic -y formula and i just cannot get with it but other than that it's gucci next i'm gonna go into this mid-tone brown in the palette and i'm gonna apply that right underneath that shade just to deepen it up So I'm debating, I'm not gonna do a matte eye because I feel like you guys want to see how the shimmers perform. But I'm trying to see. So I think I'm gonna do this color. It's like a coppery type of shade. And I'm actually gonna use my NYX glitter primer for this because I already know how these shimmers work. And personally, they just work better to me with some kind of adhesive, whether you like to use like a um Fix Plus or anything like that, but you guys know I like to use NYX Glitter Primer. I'm just gonna take the other side of that brush and get it in there and press that on the lid. I feel like I've done this look a million times. So. So now I'm just gonna like diffuse that a little bit. And by the way, these shadows, especially the metallics, they are pigmented by themselves, but I just like to use the glitter primer so that it has something to grab to, because in my experience, these shadows seem to be a little like crumbly if they don't have anything to grab to. So that's why I did that. And I'm just using that same brown that I used earlier, just to kind of like, have this color blend into something. I think I wanna like lighten this up a bit because I wanted something a little bit pinkier. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and just go over that. Like that. Yep. That's what I wanted. Should've went in with that first, but it's okay. Yeah, I like that better. You guys are probably like, Tasha, what the heck did you even do? So our primer is already on. Eyes are done for now. You guys know I'm going to go back into my eyes later. And we're going to go into the foundation. This is the Faux Filter Foundation. And I got the shade 
mocha and I hope this shade matches <laughs> but um, it seems to be the best match in the store and it says one to two pumps for full coverage and I'm not sure what the finish is if it's matte or not I don't think I remember watching tutorials on this when this first came out and a lot of people said like it just didn't really set like you had to set it yourself and that's why I didn't want to buy it because I'm like full coverage not setting sounds very messy so hopefully this works so I'm gonna do two pumps two full pumps like so and also I'm going to be using my Juno and Co sponge. They have brushes, but honestly, I'm going to let you guys know from here on out. There's like a 20% chance that I'll ever buy brushes from the brand itself because I never like them. They're just never right to me. So I just like, eh, use what I have. I literally have over 50 brushes in front of me, probably more than that. So use what I have, okay? So I'm just going to use this. And yay, she matches! I'm so happy. And it does smell like um, like roses, but it's really not that bad. Everybody was being so dramatic about the smell. Oh my God, it just smells so bad. But I know some people are really sensitive to scents and stuff, so I, I can see that, but it honestly doesn't bother me. And this is definitely full coverage definitely and it's so crazy because I have been like pulling away from more full coverage products even though my skin is not perfect I just feel like more skin like stuff just looks better on the skin to me so I don't know I've been liking it but this ain't looking too bad Filling it. So this is with the foundation on that side. Hello. So cute. And then this is without. So you can definitely see a difference. She's definitely thick. She's definitely full coverage. I feel like this is a pretty decent match. Especially since I'm going to be highlighting and stuff. It's going to balance out and look good. No, I really thought this foundation was going to feel super thick and gross but it doesn't yet. You know, when you start getting into the concealers and stuff, then, then we have a problem. My hair looks crazy, oh my God. Ooh child, get me together. So, because this is such a full coverage foundation, I'm gonna kinda switch my normal routine and I'm not gonna do a concealer that matches my skin tone because I feel like I'm gonna look like who did it and why? So I'm just gonna go in with peanut butter. Hopefully this is a nice highlighting shade. It should be bright enough. Yep. And I'm just gonna highlight with peanut butter. And I'm gonna try not to go in because this concealer is so thick. And this actually feels really good. I'd be forgetting. Well, actually I never apply the concealer like this. I always put it on the back of my hand and apply it regularly, but this feels really good. So yeah, guys, I'm going in with one concealer today. That is too much for my nose. Now, come on, Tasha. Come on. And I'm like literally trying not to squeeze out too much product. But you guys, this is literally, this looks like a filter. Do y'all see my face? I feel like I do this every time, but like for real. Do y'all see it or not? Because I look like a bad bitch. Yes, I do. And I've no I'm noticing with this concealer that it's setting, but I'm still having time to move with it. Like I can't explain it. But now that it's on my face underneath the foundation, it's just a lot different than when I was doing it on my eyes. So I do like that a lot. 
I think this looks good. And you guys are probably gonna be like, Tasha, you are crazy. But I'm gonna add a little bit of caramel, caramel, tomato, tomato, corn, uh, just in this inner corner because I like a really bright under eye highlight. And I feel like we're already super beat. We're already here. So we might as well put our all into it. I'm just saying. I was literally just about to set my face and then I forgot I have these. I have the um, Tantor, it's a contour and bronzer cream. So I have the shade Medium, which I use a lot. I have Medium and then I have Rich. Ooh, I barely use Rich. Rich is like contour. So I think I'm gonna use Medium. So I know I'm gonna use Medium. And I'm gonna snatch it up. Wow, that would have been really tragic if I did not use this because I actually really love this product. Like this is like, one of the best cream products that I've ever used. So I'm just gonna take medium and medium is like perfect. Rich is like, I use it sometime, but like, is that really necessary, Tasha? It's not. <laughs> it's really not necessary to go that dark. So I'm just gonna get up under here. And you guys know I have like a love-hate relationship with cream contour. Um, I like it when I do it, but I just feel like also it's like an unnecessary step. So take that however you will. Some people swear by it and it does, it does make a difference. But I also feel like my face comes out good without it. So like, what do I do? What's the truth? <laughs> and I'm not gonna do my nose with this. I feel like every time I do cream contour on my nose, it ends up wiping away anyways. So I'm just gonna use my regular bronzer, probably my Fenty. I'm cheating, but I don't think Huda has a like powder bronzer. I'm pretty sure she's gonna come out with one soon. I would not be surprised. So Miss Huda, we are waiting, sis. So I'm just gonna blend that in. And it makes such a nice, it's, oh, it just melts in the skin. I think this is what Fenty was trying to do, but this is not what it did. <laughs> sorry, Fenty, sorry, Riri. But this is, oh, this is that girl. And honestly, you guys, I haven't even set my under eyes yet. And it has not, um, it has not creased. Love that. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Kunafa. This is the powder. This is my favorite powder. It's just so nice and yellow and buttery. If you guys are familiar with um, Sasha Buttercup, you guys know what I mean when I say buttery and just yellow. I, <sighs> now this smells like the, um, like the foundation but like imagine it going up your nose but um yeah it just has that nice yellowy tint and it really brightens your under eyes so i think this powder works really good too for my like deeper brown girls that like a yellow powder without flashback so try this as well it's a pretty universal yellow for the deeper tones getting powder everywhere Cause I know a lot of times they try to have like um, darker girls wear like this orangey powder or this like skin tone powder that ends up looking hella ashy. Like they want to look golden too, sis. Like, and you guys know I don't really like to bake. I'm just pressing all of this in. So Huda Beauty does not have like an all over face powder, but I'm just gonna use Cinnabon um, and put that all over and see how that works. Talk about filtered, baby. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with that. Cause it's literally like about my skin tone. Looks lighter on camera, but it's a pretty deep shade. Sometimes I would like, when I didn't want that super yellowy under eye highlight, I would mix Cinnabon with, what's that called? With Kunafa and it would be like the perfect highlight, especially for a more like tone down type of day. So now I'm just gonna take my Fenty Coconati 
and just kind of set that why am I holding the brush like that? <laughs> set that um, cream contour. And you guys know Coco Naughty is not as deep as like Mocha Mommy, so it just kind of works out, you know? I'm gonna do my nose. Because what is a face without a nose contour? My girl Huda does not have any um, blush yet, so I'm just gonna go on with my cover effects and spice cinnamon and bring some color to my cheeks. Cause I have so much color going on on my eyes. Just wanted to tie together, you know? So I'm gonna be going into this um, Huda Beauty. Why do I keep saying the brand when this, anyways. Um, my 3D highlighter palette. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is not my favorite highlight palette. I just feel like, eh, I'm not into the whole cream and then the, the and, uh, Anyways, I'm gonna use this shade right here and I'm gonna put, oh, I need to wipe off my nose. <laughs> and I'm gonna highlight the tip of my nose and then the bridge of my nose. And I think there's multiples of these. Is this a name on this? This isn't a name, but the shade I use is Maldives. Is that how you say it? Maldives, Maldives, Maldives. Okay, y'all know, y'all know. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. I just don't think it blends the way I want it to. I feel like it gives you that like super highlighted look that we used to like when you had like a strip of highlight. So I'm just not into it. But um, I'm gonna take the shade Bora Bora and put that on my cheeks just to get a little bit of highlight. You see that? But not like that like beaming effect. So it's basically going right on top of the blush to give me some color. And I need to like blend that out really nicely but yeah I just noticed like it just doesn't blend out the way I like I've tried to use it but it just doesn't blend how I want it to blend so and before I go back to the eyes and do my lips I'm gonna use this cocoa I mean glow cocoa this is the hydrating mist you guys know I love me a hydrating setting spray but yeah ooh, it says put it in the fridge for a little extra freshness I like that but yes, I'm just gonna spray my face. And I love this stuff. It smells so good, first of all. I just love how it melts my makeup. And I love the mister of it. Definitely a favorite. Just gonna push that in. I'm kind of sort of not liking this yellow under eye anymore. But we're gonna roll with it. Time to move on to the lips. I'm gonna be using this lip liner by Huda Beauty, and I had no idea they had lip liners, so don't know if it's gonna be good or not. But I got the shade Spice Girl, and that was literally my favorite movie. And this is already gonna be too light. Not too light, but. You know, let me just shut up until I put it on. <laughs> Actually, it isn't like too dark. It's just more on the like warmer side. But I'm gonna take the lipstick in First Kiss. This is like one of my favorite matte lipsticks. And gonna... It's literally like the color of my lips, but better. And just for a little bit more definition, I'm gonna take my KK Beauty lip liner in nude three and just outline that just a little bit huda beauty's lipsticks are so good when i tell you they're like super matte but super comfortable i live but um yeah i wish they had darker lip liners though this isn't like bad but like not my favorite i think this will be a gloss i mean a lip liner that i will wear more so with my glosses i think it will complement a lot of glosses that i have so i do like that it's like my favorite last thing so moving back to the eyes real quick because we about to wrap this up i'm gonna go back into that nude palette and i'm gonna take this gold shade or do i want to take a matte shade i feel like mattes in the inner corner are just like to die okay so i'm gonna take this matte shade and no i'm not i lied so i'm gonna take this gold shade 
And I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. And yeah, this gold one is one of those like weird formulated ones. So as you guys know, Huda does have a liner, but I'm just not, I don't really buy liners like that. So I feel like it would have been a waste. Um, I have heard really good things about it. It's like a dual ended. One side's like for like your waterline or like a gel liner and the other side is like a liquid liner. So um, I guess check that out. But I think I'm gonna, am I gonna put on liner? I don't know. I'm gonna put on lashes and then I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on Huda Booty. All right guys, so for my final thoughts on this Huda Beauty, this full face using Huda Beauty, I would say that once again, it's a hit. There is nothing that I don't like except this um, highlighter palette. You can definitely do without it. I just don't feel like it blends out nicely. What it's giving on this is what you're gonna get. Definitely like a very <sighs> highlight. It, does, it just doesn't blend nicely to me. That's just my opinion, so. Take that how you want, but that's how I feel. Um, everything is great. I don't feel like Huda misses with anything. Anything that she launches always is nice. Like I can tell that she really thinks through her products. She really is hands-on, you know, with the formulation and everything like that because nothing is like thrown together or half-assed or anything like that. So I definitely would say check out the brand, but I will let you know Huda Beauty was introduced to us from Instagram. So keep in mind, these products are a lot thicker and a lot heavier than your average products. They are thick. The foundation is thick. I look filtered. How I look on this camera right now is literally how I look in person and even more filtered in person because the way things translate on camera, I look the same. I'm looking at myself in the mind, I look the same, but you guys know what I mean. If you're into makeup, you know what I mean about how things translate. Um, concealer is thick, the powder is thick, so imagine me putting all three of those things together. It's definitely a thick moment, but it looks good nonetheless. So if you're somebody who likes to take pictures and wants something that's gonna photograph well, you don't wanna edit too much, this is that girl. If you're somebody that wants to just look like a walking filter, this is that girl. So make sure you guys check out the products. I will give everything literally a thumbs up. Her eyeshadows are amazing as well. And I love the primer. I didn't think I would like that as much because I don't know. But the primer is amazing. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what your favorite Huda Beauty um, product is. And I will see you guys in the next video.